Um, the camera equipment that we had used was pretty basic. The equipment that was included was a small handheld video camera and a tripod, though we didn't really um, need much more. If we had speech enough through our opening, it would have been helpful to have a boom mic, but we did not have a need for it, as it was all kind of action. Um, one piece of equipment that would have made filming a lot easier, that I would have loved to have, would have been tracking. Uh, tracking would have enabled us to create a much more professional looking final product as the camera wouldn't have been so shaky on parts when we had to move with the camera, uh, such as the shot following the protagonist as she gets out of the car. It was difficult to do handheld as obviously you have someone like walking and bouncing the camera along. Um, so we just had to do a trial and error, try and get it as smooth as possible. It would have been a lot easier with the tracking. Um, I also learned a lot about editing whilst doing this piece, although I had used the, um, the serif before, uh, this time it was a lot harder to make sure that we got everything cut right to um, give our final piece uh, the flow of a real film and not just an amateur reproduction. Uh, the biggest disappointment with editing our thriller opening um, was not being able to change the original n um, lighting from day to night as we had planned. Uh, we had wanted to record it all um, so that it would be dark and eerie, so kind of like a nighttime recording. However, it would have been troublesome to film during the night without artificial lighting, which we did not have. Um, so we filmed during the day and attempted to then change the lighting during the editing process. Uh, we tried to use Adobe After Effects in order to convert our piece from day to night, but we had trouble rendering it as the computers we, use, we were using were not able to handle the amount of memory it took to be able to do so. Um, after being slightly dissatisfied, we then tried it on the regular editing pro um, program that we use. However, it proved to be unlikely to happen. Um, we attempted to try and change the contrast, the lighting, adding shadows and darkness, but a lot of the times when we took lighting away from it, it just lost all of the features in our protagonist and our antagonist's faces. So it was kind of, we would have it dark, but you wouldn't really be able to see what was going on. So we kind of um, eventually just had to leave it as it was. Hopefully it still has a bit of creepiness on the audience even though it's in the light.